All right, we're doing smoked cheeseburgers. So we have our firebox loaded here. We have a couple chunks of wood, nothing crazy. It's probably a 20 minute, 30 minute cook maybe. Um, so we've got some wood chunks, so we'll get some smoke in there. Um, target temp is like 375, 350, 375, something like that. Um, so we're gonna let this fire go. And we'll go inside, we'll mix our meat, we'll get our patties ready. Uh, once this is almost up to temperature, I'll put the um, heat deflectors on because this is indirect cooking and uh, we'll go from there. So let's go inside and, and get our burgers ready. All right, the grill's coming up to temperature. So let's go ahead and uh, mix our meats. So right now I have two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. Uh, we want some fat. So 80-20 is probably the, the farthest I like to go with fat. Uh, so we have two pounds of 80-20 ground beef and I'm just gonna add some olive oil and some seasoning. We're gonna be using uh, Meat Church Holy Cow, uh, but use any seasoning you want, right? A really popular is um, garlic salt and then a couple other touches, but we'll be using this. Um, and then once we get our patties made, we'll get them on the grill and I'm gonna be using a meter probe because I'm gonna to wanna to know exactly when, you know, they're medium rare, well done, etc. My life like my wife likes well done. These are gonna end up juicy no matter what temperature we cook them to, because it's, you know, we're gonna be cooking them a little slower than usual. So um, I'm probably gonna put this in for well done, but let's go ahead and we'll mix the meat up, we'll add our seasoning and form our patties. So let's go ahead and get these burgers on. Spread them around the grill. I'm gonna take the thickest one and put our meter probe inside of that one. And that'll be my gauge. And if you remember from other videos, I actually, my, my grill tends to run hotter in the back. So at one point throughout this cook, I'm gonna flip them and, and uh, move them around because obviously we don't want one to cook way more than the others. This is the thickest one. So I'm gonna go ahead and shove my meter probe in. And then we will go inside the app and um, set this up to alert us when this is uh, almost ready. All right, the meter probe's telling us we got about 10 minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip all of them. We'll move them around a little bit. And you can see there's a perfect example of my hotspot, right? This burger came from here, that came from the back. All right, we'll wait another 10 minutes for the probe to tell us that it's cooked. We'll go ahead uh, back inside. So we got the five minute warning from the meter out. So I just took the probe out and now we're gonna put our cheese on. And I'm actually gonna put the accessory rack on top to toast some buns. Now I made these patties a little thicker than I should have, but um, you know, no big deal. We have some nice big buns. All right, these are done. So let's go ahead and get them off. I'll take the accessory rack off here. Should have brought gloves, but I didn't. That accessory rack is so handy for, for exactly this. Um, and let's go ahead and get these bun or these burgers on our cutting board, and we're gonna let them rest. So we'll let them sit for a couple of minutes. Um, you know, settle down, reabsorb some juice that it's trying to push out, and then we will. Go ahead, put them on our nail toasted buns, and slice them open. Okay, so the burgers are rested. Uh, we had them resting uh, with just tin foil loosely on top. Um, two of them we're not gonna eat tonight, but um, we're gonna go ahead, we'll cut one of these open, uh, take a look inside, but, but uh, I know for a fact these came out amazing. So this is a pretty easy cook. 
All in all, it took about 22 to 25 minutes on the grill itself. I cooked to well done because I'm positive it's gonna be very juicy and the kids, my wife, you know, they don't really want um, to see any color in the middle at all, but they're gonna come out delicious no matter what. Obviously you cook to the temperature you want, but let's go ahead and cut this open. Yeah, so this came out great. So obviously I pulled a few of them a little early to try to get, um, to try to get some better timing, um, some better color. So you see we have a nice smoke ring uh, on some ground beef here. Uh, you see some of those season that seasoning in there. These came out great. Um, obviously, you know how you want to dress your own hamburger. Um, we'll go inside. I'll put you know some lettuce, pickles, and all of that. But I just want to show you what the, what these look like, how these came out. You can see there's still you know, there's juice all over the place here. So these came out really well. It's an easy cook. It was about 25 minutes or so, start to finish. I did well done um, for the wife and kids. If you like, you know, rare, medium rare. Just cook to those temperatures. The meter probe will keep you in check. The meter probe will tell you uh, exactly where you need to be. It'll even tell you when to pull the meat and then it'll go ahead and uh, it'll let it rest. It knows the temperature rises while it rests. So all in all, we're done here, but uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna go dress these. I'm probably gonna do some um, you know, lettuce, tomato, pickles, but, but that's how we like it. However you like it, you can dress yours. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe. But um, honestly, it's not the fastest way to cook a burger, but this is probably my favorite way to cook a burger.